Oh, and Guamo, thank you for the follow, by the way. I saw that. Here we go. Ooh, Guamo Kun only has the one team. So he's going to stick it out with that. Meanwhile, DC sending out his team number three, which is very, very dangerous. Let's see who wins. Everyone, thank you. Whoever's in the chat, thank you for sticking with me for so long. This is going to be the last battle of the day. Oh, this music. All right, let's go. We see Scizor on DC's team. We don't normally see a lot of Scizor. I'm glad to be looking at it. All right, here we go, here we go. Sorry, it's gonna be a little choppy sometimes, but we are gonna take care of it, it's fine. Here we go, we're leading off with the Bramble Gas and the Murkrow. Sailor Moon. Here we go. We got Sailor Moon and Saitama, AKA the Palafin and the Fluttermane versus the Bramble Gas and the Murkrow lead. Let's see what the first moves are gonna be. Oh, we see a switch out. Switch it into the scissor immediately. The tailwind comes out from the Murkrow. And the Wind Rider ability is gonna kick in, raising Bramble Gas attack. But the Shadow Ball comes out. This may shatter the Bramble Gas. It does. Fluttermane with so much special attack. Woof. Here we go. Hound Doom is out. Gonna withdraw the scissor, scared of the hound doom. And you know who's coming in. Oh no, the got to tell. We're going to lock everything in. The Paris song, that's going to work against the Murkrow because they can't switch. But the got to tell and the Fluttermane can. Will a wisp into the Fluttermane. I would have to assume he thought that the uh, Palafin was gonna come in in that slot. Parasol count fell to three. Woof. It's getting scary. What's the got to tell on the flutter man gonna do here? Dazzling Gleam. Oh, oh, was about to take out the Murkrow. Focus Sash and the Hound Doom is still not. Oh, was... that sucks. They got to tell that's super effective. The U turn are going to be able to U turn out. So you can U turn out a Shadow Tag and things of that nature. You could just not normally switch out. Fluttermane is not banned. Fluttermane is not banned from doubles.
I'm about to say, Fluttermane is definitely not banned from doubles. It could be banned from singles, though. I think it is, actually. They can't switch, but the Dragon Knight's out. What we got here, gonna withdraw the Fluttermane. Going to the Scizor. Got to tell users protect. Very smart play. The Dragon Dance. Time to get speedy and bulky. I mean, speedy and tank. Uh, speedy and attacky. Speedy and attacky. And the Crunch. The God to tell is going to eat that up with protect. The Parasol count fell to one. Is Got the Tail going to switch out here? The Tailwind is petered out. <gasps> is the Got the Tail going to switch? Yes. Going into everyone's hero, the Palafin. Metronome. And if you, oh my, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Metronome Dragonite. Okay, you know what? Why not? Why not? The thief. But now that Scizor is burned, not going to be able to do a lot of attack. And Houndoom, unfortunately, is going to go down to that Parish Song. Only thing left is the one health Murkrow. Still has the Prankster ability, though. Metronome is a move I did not think I'd see today. I did not think I'd see Metronome to, oh my goodness, he's not going for this. He's not going for this. Yo, Point Prometheus, I'm just as surprised as you. Ice Punch, not, wait, no, wait, was that Ice Punch or was that uh, Jet Punch? I didn't read it right, Jet Punch. What was it, because Ice Punch should have killed. Bullet Punch? Gonna take out the Murkrow. The Dragon Claw comes out into the Palafin, does a lot of damage. Now, the Scizor isn't going to be doing too much. The Parish Song. We can't force switches here with the Parish Song. Good protect. We're going to keep the Palafin healthy for now. Pounce! Doesn't do a lot of damage. Not very effective. And that burn. But the speed. The speed drop is what is most important. The Paris Song count fell to two. This is bad because the Dragon Knight does not have anything to switch into. He heard the Paris song, so he's going to go down in two turns. Wave crash. That does a lot to the Dragon Knight. Damage by the recoil. Dragon Claw comes out, kills the Palafin. Doesn't kill the Dragonite, but this next turn is going to be a guaranteed kill on the Dragonite. This is looking very bleak for our hero. Send out the Got to Tell, and this is it. One fake out, and that is it. Match one goes to DC. 
Very, very good, boys. Very, very good. We're going to set up for the second match to see if Guamo can pull something out of the hat. Very, very good. Let's go again. Point Prometheus, the metronome Dragonite. When's the last time you saw that? Yeah, DC is a very, very, very capable battler. And we're going to go back into it. And I got another song for y'all, boys and girls. Here we go. Hey, wait, still making the team. All right, here we go. Got the tail. Switches in. The tailwind. Are we going to see the chili exception right away? The Parish song. And a yawn. Okay. So we have a Parish song. We have a yawn. We have a tailwind on the field. We have a lot of different moving parts. Whoa, are they both gonna? Whoa, okay. Withdraws the Flutterman, does not want it to go to sleep. We're going to send out the Scizor. The fake out, very nice fake out. The U turn into the Gotta Tell doesn't do too much damage. Remember, it's still a Murkrow at the end of the day. The Dragon Knight comes out. Oh, it was gonna tell a chilling joke, but it missed because he got faked out so he couldn't do the joke. I was waiting to hear the joke. Wasn't y'all waiting to hear the joke? See what happens here. Bullet punch into the Dragon Knight. The Dragon Dance. Oh, it's time to tell a bad joke. Chilling reception. We're gonna go back and you know who's coming out. The Frost Moth. With that defense boost. And we're gonna try to put up. Psychic into the Dragonite. We're gonna try to put up the Aurora Veil. All right, let's see what happens. We see a terror come out.
Terra Steel Dragon Knight. Okay. Terra Steel is a great defensive typing. The Bullet Punch comes into the Frost Moth. Oh my God. Almost kills it. The Metronome. It's using Dig. What? It's okay. It used Dig. All right. The Psychic not going to kill the Frost Moth. And Got to Tell's Parish count, unfortunately, goes to zero. The Tailwind petered out, however. We're going to send out the Flutter Main. Flutter Main is extremely fast. The Protect comes out for the Flutter Main. Worried about the dig. And that was a very nice call out from DC. The Blizzard comes out, not going to affect the Flutter Main, but the Scizor is not going to eat too much because of the Steel type. The Brick Break comes out and deletes. The Aurora Veil! That's not great. And that's why I always want Brick Brick on my teams. So that I can break through Reflex and Aurora Veils. This could be the end for our hero. The Parish Song! Bullet Punch comes out, kills the Frost Moth. And a Dazzling Gleam. We have one more turn for the Murkrow. But here we go. We have one more hero. Let's see what the Slow King can do. Dazzling Link comes out. That's goodbye to the Murkrow. Metronome. Heal Bell. A bell chimed. But it failed. <laughs> the thief almost kills. And that's going to pretty much do it. We got bullet punch. We got we got whatever we want. The bullet punch comes out and takes out the slow kick. DC takes it three to two. That was a set. Very good set, boys. GG's, GG's all around. GG's, GG's, that was fun. That was good. Man, the metronome. I didn't think I was going to see a metronome. Two Pokemon with metronome. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. So uh, let me put in the scores here. So I can tell y'all y'all's rankings. No, very good stuff, DC. Very good stuff, Guamo. Uh, Guamo beat Running Pandas 2-0. And then DC beat Guamo 2-0. So let me tell y'all the rankings now. That I have them all updated. My fucking Dragonite. Stick to the Terra type. All right, so here's who's in the lead. We, here's who's, uh, you know, how all of it shakes out. Point Prometheus is in first place with six points. 
He is 3 and 0. DC is in second place with 5 points. He is 2 and 1. Rito Voorhees is in third place with four points. UPR is in fourth place with three points. Guamo's in fifth with two points. Panda's in sixth with one point. And, and Sandbag is in seventh with zero points. But, you know, we still have a lot of game to go. So, uh, DC, how do you feel about being in second place in the Pokemon League so far? Uh, it it feels pretty good, honestly. Um, I thought I was I thought I was in trouble after the first week when I played uh point. I was like, shit, my team ain't good. I ain't come up with a good enough plan. But um, you know, building confidence. I like the team a lot that uh that came up. It literally is just kind of like my favorite <laughs> some of my favorite mods. And it's like, all right, how can I make this competitive and have the right support? Oh, that um, team was really good. It was hype. Like, yeah, that's, the Scizor was fucking was fucking evil. <laughs> Like, I fucked uh, myself up, like, a little bit with the Scizor. Uh, I terra-typed my Dragonite to Steel. That super affected it. Then the Aurora Veil. Like, that shit, too. So I was like, oh, damn. That's, um, I, uh, that's why I, ha- I had the Scizor. I'm like, all right, what does Scizor lose to on this team? Like, if he does have, like, screens or veils, I didn't, I didn't watch the first match. Um, it's, I have Brick Break on it, so I'm like, all right, this will cover pretty good. And if, if anybody terra steals, um... I wanted to use more Palatin, but it just <laughs> Dragonite just walls him off for the most part. So like, if I take out Dragonite, I can play, I can play with my hero, with my boy. Yeah. Man, and Guamo, uh, you're not, you're, I think, let me, let me check the ranking of Guamo. I think you're in fifth place right now, so you're just mm-hmm. out of the fourth place that you need. Um, uh, but there's still a lot of games to go. So, uh, how do you feel being fifth place, and do you think you'll be able to? Rev up a comeback and get one of those four spots for the for the finals. Yeah, um, it's too late to add another team, huh? Yeah, <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> nah, because I, yeah, I was barely able to fucking EV train and all that shit with uh this team right now. But um, I legit just yeah, the same thing that fucking DC did. Uh, pick Pokemon that I like. Uh, found some silly things and yeah, I did some did some good stuff. 